Hello, welcome back. I have a, a few things I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get adjusted on my rolling chair. Um, I'm not going to do any decluttering today, but I did want to talk to you because I post on Instagram as well as YouTube, and today I posted um, a picture of what I'm wearing tomorrow. I, I follow the Fly Lady system uh, through Diane in Denmark and through the Fly Lady. And one of the things that they that they have you do as one of your morning routines or your before bed routines is to select your outfit for the next day and have it ready. Uh, I've done it for years, um, but I it was reinforced when I started uh, started following the Fly Lady system. But I also follow along. Um, I do I select my outfit according to by color, and. That system is part of the Louise L. Hay, Louise Hay, Colors and Numbers book. I've been using, following this book for, well, since 1994. Um, so many years I've been fo following that system. Today's colors for me are blue. This is more of a turquoise, but it's still, uh, for me, on it's got blue and green in, it in, the, dre in the dress, and this is a summer dress, so I, I wear this little jacket over this little sweater over it um, and I have blue in my earrings blue in my ring so today's colors for me are blue uh, tomorrow's colors will be um, indigo so my outfit that I posted on Instagram if you go there to uh, uh, hashtag simpl uh, simplifying space doc simplifying space sorry <laughs> this is all new to me uh, you'll see my post and it's navy um, so anyway, that's I wanted to share that with you. And the thing, the reason I follow the system, the colors and numbers system, is because um, there's a lot of energy that is uh, that's exchanged. There's a lot of energy around color. Each color uh, sparks a different energy, so to speak, and it's based <clears throat> based on numerology as well. And there are energy around numbers so excuse me I have a frog in my throat so um, the colors and numbers are combined makes for a really powerful um, and interesting journey with with your dress the way you dress and the foods that you eat if you care to, if you go that far with it I I never really went as far as to try to eat blue foods on the days when <clears throat> my color was blue or red foods on a red day or something like that but I do dress according to the color. Uh, so if you're interested in that, um, I can post some more information about that. Uh, I can't go into and do a you know a, a class on it or uh, there there are copyrights and infringements I don't really wish to get in, to get sued over. So, um, but I'll be more than happy to put a link or a post uh, to the where you can get the book. You can go to Amazon for sure and get it. And she's got. I think she updated it, if not every year, several years, for several years, because I purchased newer copies that I've given to some of my clients uh, and some of my friends. Um, I also wanted to address, yesterday uh, I posted a video about decluttering 15 minutes. Um, I did a decluttering session on my desk, um, and I forgot at the end of that video, I forgot to mention that the baskets that you clear, or that you put, that you put things in, the put away, throw away, and give away, those have to be emptied at the end. So when you're fin when you're finished, go ahead and set your timer again for another two minutes and empty those so that you can start fresh the next time you go in to do a decluttering session. And you don't have that stuff sitting around. It's, do it's dealt with, it's done. The stuff that gets tossed away, put it in your recycling or your trash. Um, the stuff that you're going to donate or give away, Go ahead and put that in your car if you're taking it out or make the phone call to have someone come pick it up or um, make arrangements for that um, so that you don't have to continuously deal with the same stuff over and over and over because that is frustrating and it creates um, chaos uh, and it, it creates uh, this overwhelming sense of um, not being able to achieve that which we set out to achieve, and that is to declutter. Um, today also happens to be Friday, and in Fly Lady Land, 
that is, um, hold on. I'm sorry. I got something stuck in my throat earlier and now my nose is going to run. So I have to just make sure it doesn't run in front of you guys. That would be horrid. Um, so in, on Fridays in Fly Lady Land, it's fill up your car with fuel, uh, clean out your handbag or your purse, and uh, it's date night. So I, when I'm able-bodied, <laughs> which I'm still not able to drive yet, but I will be soon. Knock on wood. I have no wood in here, but we'll knock anyway. Um, I would I would fill up my car with fuel today. I, I definitely clean out my handbag. Um, the date night thing we do anyway on Fridays. But another thing that I always did before, um, before following the fly lady system so religiously or, or specifically is on Fridays, I, it was facial Friday. So um, I would do a facial at home. I do at home facials. I don't go out very often and get facials and, and pedicures and manicures. I used to, I used to do that, but I don't do it any longer because um, I'm home. I'm home a lot. Um, so I do a facial on Fridays. I try to do a facial a week to keep my skin so young and supple. <laughs> so we have to do what we have to do. Uh, so that's facial Fridays for me. I probably won't get to do a facial until later tonight. Um, I have physical therapy and I'll be leaving for that. We're also having, we have four huge uh, royal palm trees in our yard, two in our backyard and two in our front that we are having re removed. We're having them felled. <laughs> So the, the gentleman came out yesterday and it was amazing to watch. I have a video of it. Um, I might try to post that because it was incredible. It was, they're huge trees. They've been here as long as the house. This house, our house was built in the 60s. And so the trees have been here as part of the plot plan, I believe. So they're very old and they're very, very tall. And they're dang dangerous when they drop their pond fronds down on the ground. So we're having them removed. Um, so anyway, that's all that's going on today in my world. Uh, I just wanted to share some thoughts with you and some a book with you and what's happening. And I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. I'll be back next week. Take care. Bye.